Welcome to European Railway issue number 76, the DVD magazine for the Continental Enthusiast. In this programme, we travel to Switzerland to begin part one of a feature looking at the Reitischerbahn meter gauge line from Landquart to Zamodan. We travel to France for some fast main line action to the south of Strasbourg. Germany is our next country as we sample traffic on the busy freight and passenger route between Wunsdorf and Zielze to the west of Hanover. They return to Switzerland for passenger action to the north of Zurich. And finally we travel east and to Slovakia for a look at rural line action close to Plivica in the central part of the country. We begin the programme with a trip to Switzerland and the first of a two-part look at operations on the meter gauge Reitischerbahn from Landquart on the line out to Klosters and onwards to Zamodan. We cover the line shown here in black on our map. A number of locations were chosen, which we have split into two sections. The first comes from Landquart, then Malans, Zivis Valzina, and then around the town of Grusch. It is just before 5am on the 24th of July 2017 and freight train number 5309, the 0422 from Feltsberg to Zamodan, passes through the station with locomotive number 612 in charge. Not long after, the 0512 from Landquart to Davos Platz is given the right of way, with number 613 at the head. Class GM33 diesel shunter number 233 was next to appear on station shunting work. This loco is one of three built between 1975 and 1976 and used for duties here at Landquart as well as at Kur. Meanwhile, on the adjacent standard gauge SBB mainline, number 460059 has paused with its train from Kur to Zurich. By 0534 it was just about light and train 1213 was about to depart for Squal Tarasp.
Two kilometres to the northeast is the small town of Malanz. It was first mentioned in the year 840 and today has a population of around 2,300. The 0500 from Davoltsplatz is the first train of the day towards Landquart, where connections are available onto Kur. Heading east for just over 4 kilometres, we come to the station here at Zivis Valzina. The line and adjacent main road have just passed through one of the narrowest parts of the western end of the river Landquart Valley, where the hillsides are particularly steep and close together. Services between Tuzis and Schiers are worked by the five class ABE416 Allegra multiple units, which were constructed in 2012 and 2013 by Stadler. This is unit number 3104. Just half a kilometre around the bend we get this view of locomotive number 626 powering the 0626 from Davoltsplatz to Landquart. The location is on the western outskirts of Grusch. Our first GE443 of the day sees number 651 approaching the station here at Grouche with the 0747 from Landquart to Davos Platz. The town of Grouge was first mentioned in the year 1340 and today has a population of just over 2,000. 
the region sees on average 138 days of rain per year, including the one we picked for our filming. Heading the 0750 from Landquart to Squal Tarasp is GE442 electric number 632. And another fact about the weather in these parts, Grouche receives around 48 inches of the wet stuff each year, with the wettest month being August, with rain falling on a total of 14 days. In our next section, we travel east of Grouche and on towards Chiers, Ferna, Yinaz, Fideris, and finally to Kublis. On the approach to Chiers, the valley widens slightly as steep terrain gives way to open farmland. Number 648 returns from Landquart at the head of the 0847 for Davos Platz. When we pictured the loco a little earlier on, it was in the centre of the train. A layover of 30 minutes at Landquart was enough for some shunting to take place and to get it on the front of the returning train seen here. Three minutes later and number 622, sporting the Japanese Hakone Tozan railway livery, is in charge of the 0850 from Landquart to Squal Tarasp. Note the freight wagon on the rear of the formation an operating practice that is common on the Raetian railway network. The station here at Chiers was undergoing renovation work, and where we see number 624 arriving with the 0920 from Landquart to Saint Moritz. These trains operate hourly in each direction during the day, roughly between 8am and 6pm. Number 624 is wearing a livery which celebrates 50,000 Facebook fans following the Raetian Railway's home page.
With no let-up in the weather, another livery variation is seen here at the site of the closed station at Ferner, as number 621 heads west with the 0841 from Skål Tarasp to Landquart. The colour scheme celebrates the transport company Traveco AG. Three minutes later and it is the turn of number 649 powering the 0900 Davos Platz to Landquart. You have just seven minutes to reposition yourself here for the two eastbound workings. This location is a couple of hundred metres west of Ferner. First up is locomotive number 615, making its first appearance in this section at the head of the 0947 from Landquart to Davos Platz. Just two kilometres further east and we are here at Yinaz station as number 630 heads the 0926 from Davos Platz to Landquart. As can be seen, this line is very good for observing local hauled trains, although many of these will be replaced by new electric multiple units in the coming years. This is the view from the former goods depot at Fideris station as we await the passing of the 941 from Skål Tarasp to Landquart with locomotive number 632 in charge. Fideris has a population of just over 600 and an unemployment rate of just half of 1%. Average single person salary in the area was just over 25,000 Swiss francs, some 10,000 francs less than the national average. Next to pass by was the 1002 from Davos Platz to Landquart. Motive Power was another new loco for this section of the program in the shape of number 620. The loco wears a 100 years anniversary livery of the Bevers to Skuel Tarasp stretch railway celebrated in 2013.
Our final section in the first part of our look at this line comes from the station at Kublis, where passengers await the arrival of the E1032 from Skaul Tarasp to Landquart. First, however, we see the 1121 from Landquart to Davos Platz, powered by number 630. Parking is an issue at the station, although some people have found their own options. Number 622 departs for Landquart. Six five one is next to depart with the eleven oh two from Davos Platz to Landquart. We've seen that freight traffic is often carried on the rear of some of the passenger trains, but actual dedicated freight services are fairly infrequent, with around four to six services each day depending on the traffic levels. We leave this section with one of them, train number 5336, the 0948, from Zamadan to Landquart, powered by locomotive number 704. The train was running 50 minutes early. In our next section we travel to France to take a look at traffic on the main line south of Strasbourg on the route down to Mulhouse. Our location at Kogenheim is just north of the junction town of Selestar. We chose three main spots, the first to the south, the second just north of the station platforms and the third adjacent to the two freight loops to the north. This fast stretch of classic main line sees a mixture of local commuter services fast regional passenger, TGV, as well as domestic and international freight services. Our first shot shows the 0700 to Strasbourg local service, formed by B82500 unit number 82778. Until June 2017 this train was diagrammed for a BB25500 electric locomotive and push-pull coaching stock. The date is the 26th of July 2017. Next to appear is 26150 on the 0616 from Mulhouse to Strasbourg. Surprisingly, freight levels were fairly healthy with three to four workings per hour. Heading north is BB37048 with one of the regular Ambrosio shuttles from Gallarate in Italy to Moisin just south of Michelin in Belgium.
A batch of 14 BB26000 electrics are based at Strasbourg to work regional express passenger services between Basel, Strasbourg and Nancy. These trains utilise the locomotive's top speed of 200 km per hour. In the three hours we were beside the line, we saw eight of the 14 locos allocated to these services. 26140 is spotted here, still sporting its original orange and concrete grey livery. The train is the 0621 from Basel. When this script was compiled, just 10 of these Class BB25500 electric locomotives remained in traffic, with four in reserve at Rennes and the rest here around Strasbourg, for use on local services. Here 25679 heads north with the 0733 Selsta to Strasbourg. Three seven zero four one is on another northbound working. This time, train four six three nine two conveying new vans from Atessa Val di Sangro in Italy to Gislengin in Belgium. Moving slightly north, we are at the town station, as 26148 powers at the rear of this, the 0751, from Strasbourg to Basel. In 2015, Europort received seven of these DE18 locos from Voslo. Here numbers 4185007 and 009 restart this trainload of DB cargo type Tanus covered hoppers. The train is number 60893 from Hausbergen Yard, north of Strasbourg, to Rickvilla, which lies just to the northeast of Mulhouse. The train carries potash.
We now move adjacent to the freight loops where we see 37046 on train 41513 from Mez Sablon to Milano. Having entered traffic on the 23rd of December 2016, Regiolis Class B83500 Unit number 571 departs north with a train for Strasbourg. At the time of issue of this DVD, there were 24 of these units allocated to the Alsace region. Three seven zero one five was next to turn up at just before ten to nine with this mixed freight, probably from Wappy Yard to Mulhouse or Basel. Sixty nine four one eight and four one six head south at ten past nine. Six nine four one eight is the original sixty six four one eight, having entered traffic on the twenty second of November nineteen sixty eight. It was later modernised and renumbered into the BB sixty nine four hundred series when it received modifications, including a new MTU engine, before being released back into traffic on the twenty sixth of May two thousand and four from Chalendre Depot. This is the 0723 from Luxembourg to Marseille, formed of TGV set number 4703. Here we see 26149. And here we have 82778 once more. Eurocargo Rail Class 186, number 315, comes to a stand in the southbound freight loop, hauling train 44291 from Offenburg to Mulhouse North Yard.
Amongst the products the train is conveying is hexamethylene diamine, which according to Wikipedia is used almost exclusively for the production of polymers, an application that takes advantage of its bifunctional structure. The great majority of the diamine is consumed by the production of nylon 66 via condensation with adipic acid. Otherwise, hexamethylene diocyanite is generated from the diamine on a monomer feedstock in the production of polyurethane. The diamine also serves as a cross-linking agent in epoxy resins. Another Ambrosio shuttle from Gallarate in Italy to Moisen heads north, this time train 40360, which leaves Basel at 8am. The loco in charge is 37045. Not far behind is XMRCE Dispolock Hire Loco G1206, number 1276018. The train is from Bansenheim to Strasbourg Port de Rhin. In part 3 of this programme we travel to Germany and to the busy main line between Wunsdorf and the freight yard at Zielze to the west of Hanover. This feature is a continuation of our separate line-by-line -line DVD programme which focuses on Bremen and follows the line down to our location here at Wunsdorf. We chose three locations seen here on our map. In further detail we start off just east of Wunsdorf station then to the sports platz at Gumer, and finally to the west of Zielza Marshalling Yard. We begin at Wunsdorf on the 13th of July 2017, where we see two class 424 electric units, numbers 005 and 035, on one of the regular half hourly services from Minden to Hanover. In the opposite direction, two of the regular ICE train sets to be seen on this line, Numbers 4020, 030 and 0112 are on the 1252 from Berlin to Dusseldorf and Köln. You can expect around 12 freight services along this route each hour. Heading east is 185574. The next train to show is the delayed 0938 from Leipzig to Emden.
Heavy haul power 29002 is about to be brought to a stand, awaiting a suitable northbound slot for the route up towards Bremen. Two six five zero two five is the next to appear with train five four zero seven two, the thirteen fifty five from Zielce to Eistrup. Four oh two oh three seven slows for the junction at Wunsdorf, forming the O nine O five from München to Bremerhaven. XDR Aldi number 155134 is in charge of train 51126, the 1344 from Zielce to Hagen Vorhalle, carrying mainly steel products. Fifteen Class 212 diesels were converted to Class 714 for rescue trains. Here number 714006 is towed by 17001, a former Class 212 since rebuilt for tunnel rescue trains. Another diesel, this time HVLE's 295-952.
A rather weather-beaten 185042 is next to appear with car transporter empties for the Bremen line. Having entered service on the 29th of October 2001, the locomotive is almost certainly wearing its original paint scheme. Since December 2015, the Westfalenbahn has operated services on the Mittelland line from Rheine to Hanover and on towards Braunschweig, mainly using these new class 445 KISS double deck units. Higher to HSL Logistic, 185594 has suffered a slight graffiti attack as it heads these tank wagons off the Bremen line. A few kilometres to the east is the sports ground at Gummer, where we see 143891 and 859 pass by in charge of the 1416 from Zielce to Gremberg. Wiener Local Bahn and Cargo have 193980 on their books. Here it hauls train DGS 44130 from Budapest to Rheinhausen.
ICE service from München to Bremen approaches the camera, formed by Unit 40207. ICE services on the Bremen line run every two or three hours in each direction. Finally, we see 185012, powering train 51236, the 1542 from Zielce to Oberhausen, Osterfeld South. We now move to the busy western entrance to the marshalling yard at Zielce, a few kilometres to the west of the centre of Hanover. Yard shunting locomotive number 296060 runs towards the camera light engine, before attaching itself to the rear of a recent freight train arrival to push its train over the yard humps. This scene gives a sense of how busy it can get here. Number 146130 heads west with a train for Bremerhaven.
Austrian Railways 1116040 is in charge of train DGS 47130 from Kechgemet to Bremerhaven, made up of auto car parts. One oh one oh nine one rounds the curve whilst hauling train IC one four two, the fourteen twenty three from Berlin to Amsterdam. Finally, 152114 heads this westbound container train and is passed by 143048.
We now return to Switzerland, but this time it is standard gauge tracks to the north of Zurich that we follow, on the passenger route between Winterthur and Schaffhausen. Our maps show the main locations visited between Winterthur in the south and Schaffhausen in the north. This commuter line has been featured before in European Railway, where in issue number 66 we looked at traffic through Hengart. At Hettlingen on the sunny evening of the 6th of June 2016 is the 1600 commuter service from Zurich to Schaffhausen, where it passes through powered at the front by class 420 number 210 with number 222 on the rear. The route is a mixture of single and double track sections. The line north of here to Hengart has two tracks to cope with the intensive morning and evening commuter services. Heading towards the camera are class 514 units number 009 and 035. This route is known as the Rheinfallbahn and was constructed between 1855 and 1857. Today the line is part of Zurich's S-Bahn network with S16 and S33 services both using the route, with S16 providing for an hourly limited stop service to and from Zurich, whilst S33 sees two trains each way per hour from Winterthur serving all stations. SBB Turbo Class 526-7 electric units Numbers 802 and 762 are forming a service from Schaffhausen to Winterthur. The Class 420 used on the S-Bahn passenger services are dedicated to work these trains, and are branded Lion. Here 420, 220 and 213 head south, slowing for the station stop. Next to appear were 11201 and 11221, working the 1700 departure from Zurich to Schaffhausen. This is Hengart, and unit numbers 802 and 762 arrive with a service from Winterthur. Just leaving the station platforms are a returning 11220 and 11213. South of the town we get this view of unit numbers 784 and 767, heading for their next stop at Hettlingen, with a local for Winterthur.
Moving north towards Schaffhausen now, we call into the station at Dachsen, before heading south to the disused station at Martelen. This is Dachsen at 0632 on the morning of the 25th of July 2017, as 11227 and 11210 arrive with the 0606 from Winterthur to Schaffhausen. The station is a passing place on this single track section of the route. Here 514039 is passed by 11214 and 11201, working the 0631 from Schaffhausen to Zurich. This is the now closed station at Martelan, as the 0646 from Schaffhausen heads south for the capital with 42210 and 227 in charge. It is really only during the morning and evening rush hours that these loco operated trains can be seen, with three trains each way to Zurich, as well as a morning and evening shuttle between Schaffhausen and Winterthur. Coming off a short double track section south of the town are unit numbers 787 and 756 with a local service for Schaffhausen. At the other end of the station we see 514014 heading north with one of the half hourly services from Zurich to Schaffhausen. Finally, it is the turn of 11228 and 11202 on the 0730 from Schaffhausen. This is the last of the morning loco operated services bound for the capital. In our final section of the programme we visit central Slovakia and to the area around the town of Prividza, to the northwest of the railway town of Zvolen. The stretch of line that we filmed is shown by the black line here on our map. Our first section comes from the southwest of Prividza, beginning at Cinorani before moving east to Vilke Violica, Oslani, Zamianski Kostolani and onwards to two locations around Novaki. We begin at Shinorani, 
on the 14th of June 2016. The line is operated using manual signalling, which also involves staff operating the points by hand, something which we will see at various times as our journey progresses. Our first train is worked by Class 861 Unit number 010, forming the 1120 from Norve Zamki to Prividza. A similar unit is seen at our next location here at Vilke Bioalitsa, this time number 028, working the 1328 from Prividza to Ozanki. Thirty-two units make up the fleet, with two batches being delivered. The first twelve between 2011 and 13 and the remainder in 2014 and 15. Half of the fleet work off Nove Zamki depot, which includes services along this line. Shorter distance local services are operated using mainly these Class 813 units. These were converted from Class 810 by Zvolen depot between 2007 and 2010. A total of 44 units make up the class. This one is working the 1404 from Topol Chani to Prividza. This is the station at Oslani, which consists of nothing more than a small station building and a platform made up of stone chippings. Unit number 81308 is working the 1525 from Prividza to Nitra. Some long distance trains are formed of locomotive and coach formations, including this, the 1039 through service from Bratislava to Prividza. There are four of these through services each way per day. Class 757s are the staple motive power for these trains, which load to between around six and eight coaches. This is the station at Zamiansky Kostolani. North of Zamiansky Kostolani we come to Novaki, 
which has an active freight yard, mainly to cater for traffic into or out of the nearby cement and chemical works. On the 18th of July 2017 we see 757017 heading south with the 1233 from Oprivica to Bratislava. An interesting observation is the Class 811 single rail car, number 021, attached to the rear of the formation. Back to the 14th of June 2016 now and 757017 gets the right away. Class 751 diesel number 118 arrives with trip freight number 68720, the 1657 from Previdza to Nove Zanki. The ZSSK passenger sector has five of these Class 736 diesels on its books. Two are used for local shunting around Bratislava, whilst three, based at Nove Zamki, have two daily return diagrams between there and Previdza. This is 736101, working the 1728 from Previdza. An hour later and 757017 returns, with 736105 dead in tow, presumably taking the class 736 back to Topolciani. Meanwhile, 751128 is enjoying some shunting, seen here coupled with 742266.
We're back to the 17th of July 2017 now, and just north of the town, where we see the freight version of the Class 736 in the shape of numbers 019 and 023, hauling three cargo sector Class 751s, numbers 59, 47 and 56. The working is from the depot at Prividza to Novaki. This is Freight Train 68720 again, and on this date it had 751192 in charge as it heads south past the camera. H61011 heads north with the 1839 from Topolchani to Privitza. In the next part of the section we look at the line east of Privitza on the route to Horna Stubnia, as far as Hanlova. This line has some steep inclines, but sees less in the way of passenger and freight traffic. Our maps show the main filming locations. We begin at Previdza as 757015 leaves the station, with the 0833 departure for Bratislava. At Lipnik, class 811 unit number 10 drops down the grade with local train number 5604, the 0817 from Horna Stubnia to Previdza. The unit will work local trains on this line all day. One of the highlights of the morning period is this, freight train number 68321, the 0947 from Norvaki to Vrutki.
At Ra's Tochino, unit number 811010 is seen returning with the 1041 from Previdza. It is seen again shortly after leaving Hand Lova. To the south of the town, Unit 813007 drops down the grade with the 1017 from Horna Stubnia to Previdza. The unit will cross the freight train seen earlier. Number 736023 and 019 with 751035, 075 and 033 on the rear have a clear line in front of them as we take this opportunity to thank you for watching this edition of European Railway.